Hey everybody, Johnny Arclight here. Welcome back to Franbo. So in the last episode, we were turned into a tree, which is bizarre, but we were. We turned into a tree, and then we were fixed, kind of, so we can move around. We have arms and legs and hair now, so we kind of look like Franbo again. But now we're trapped in this other reality, and we have to find our way back into our human body. So I guess we should go ahead and explore. Let's talk to the beetle. No, no, you can't get in. It's closed. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, closed? I didn't know. What's behind this passage? Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, then. It will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Palantris? That's me. Palantris gave me arms and legs, yes, and also a head. That's very positive. But why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Athirsta, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned, and that only happens in fall and winter. Thank you, bye! Alright, well, I guess we should keep moving on. Wow, this is a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. Oh, what's this symbol? This sign looks like a tree. Alright, we'll just... We need a flying boat. Where do we get one of those? So we can go down. I should talk to this guy though. Hello, sir. Are you a guard? Yes. Oh, I see. Do you know where the mountain coach room is? Yes. Where is it? Can you tell me? Yes. Well, tell me, please. Hmm, the mountain coach room is only in winter time. Winter time? What are you talking about? Mm, of course, winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Go? Oh, but how? Ah, sorry, but I'm no good explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. I can do that. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. Alright, thank you, sir. Alright, down the stairs and straight. So this must be where we just were. Find the clockmaker. This way? Got all these people to talk to. Hello. Ah, who is there? Who? Can't you see me, me friend? Can't you see me? Oh, now I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow. What are you selling? I don't have four eyes. Only the very best plabas of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? They look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They are not coconuts. Poo. Like in the toilet? Wow. I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. I guess that makes sense. Hee <laughs> hee. I have to get going now. Good luck with the plabas. Bye. It's a good day for a good fabric thread. I am at your service. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day, I'm Pruder, and I'm molding this piece of iron. For what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. You make all kinds of stuff? Sure. If you have some ideas, we can talk about them, and padam, I'll do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. Sure do. Ooh, clockmaker. That's that's the man I need. Look at this guy. We're talking to him first. Hello, miss. Oh, it's a lady. I think you have beautiful fruits. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? Oh, no. I'm on a mission to go back home, and I want to be hungry when I get there. Oh, so from what part of Athirsta are you? Are you from outside the island? 
No, I'm not from a thirst at all. I'm a human. Oh, a human. That's new. Well, I hope you complete your mission. Thank you, miss. I certainly will. See you. Hello, what are you doing? Hmm, working on my clock. Oh, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. And do you know where the mountain coachroom is? The mountain coachroom only exists in wintertime. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. What? Oh, a layered reality. That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where is the clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. Okay. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You are very nice. Goodbye. Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? Uh, I can't read a thirst. Uh, hmm. What is the thirstus language called? Don't you know? It's called Thurnish. Are you a tourist? Yes, I am. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a Fran either. Welcome to Athirsta. I hope you will have fun here. I wonder if the giant ant was from here. The one from the forest back home. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Goodbye. What's in this direction? Shipbuilder. Snail. A little cabbage? Hello, little root. Or a little root. Oh, thank you. You are cute, too. I'm Fran. And you? Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma, and I want to sing all day long. What's your favorite song? One and one or two. One and two or three. Two and three or five. And three and five or eight. And I don't remember any more than that. It sounds very mathematical. Indeed. I have to go now. Oh, tiny figures, black and white. Hello. Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. Huh? What do you mean? Show me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? I'm assuming to play the game. Black and white as shadows and light. It's a board game. Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. I give you a coin if you win, eh? What do you say? What are the rules? I'd like to play. First to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. So it's like tic-tac-toe. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Tic-tac-toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. I got him. Boom! Give me that gold! Very well done, little creature. You are a master. That's all I need, then. That's all I need to do there. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. Flying boats. How does that work? Think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. And could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? Oh, go home, I see. Sadly, these boats only work with... Thurstonese. Huh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. A lot of wood. Maybe they'll become a boat someday. Guess that's the idea. Check. 
check out the fruit. Wait a minute, go back. I mean, he's got a bag full of gold coins, huh? Alright, let's go this way, and then uh, we'll go that way. That's the way we want to go. This is a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? Doesn't seem to be anything over here. This guy, maybe he knows. Hello! Good day, living creature. All good? Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling the f this flower. Beautiful creation. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm... I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? They are a bit too sour for my taste, but lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons for the customers of the bar, you know? And we put some other stuff inside too, so we can fly. Fly? Wow, I would like to try that. It sounds great. Yeah, that is why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens in fall, and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Sounds fun. Okay, so there's a lot of th these things that I'm probably going to have to do. What do we got here? Oh, I wonder what this is. It looks like a tropical party place. This must be the bar. Oh, yeah, I can't read. Oh, hello. Oh, wow, what are you? You look like the fairies in my books. Hey, it's that one lady! The purest of feelings, the light of all material. We are the locus. Oh, you are very shiny, and you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature, one of the young Velokas will receive the shield. So, that lady that I've seen in that reality that Fran is from is a Veloka And a good spirit. A pure spirit. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed, let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh. We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir, miss, hmm, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light, we are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents, and why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. Very cryptic. Very, very cryptic. Sir, I have a little problem. The clock is broken. Broken clock, that's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you. I have to go home. Otherwise, my life. Oh! What do you mean? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is golden, you know. Here! A golden coin! Oh, sir. Clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold and in the name of the time? I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course, that was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it.
All right, let's see what you need. You can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. Hmm, yes, hmm. Oh, there. What is it? It seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? Somebody broke it. It's immoral breaking a defenseless clock. Why would somebody break it? Kamalas, winter, mountain coach from the stones. Many reasons, miss. Uh-oh. Kamalas, the evil darkness. They work for Rummer, the terrible black. And Kamalas are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me. Rimmer wants the stones, but what I don't understand is, for what purpose? Those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. And the stones are in winter time. Is Rimmer a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes, you know him? Yes, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, okay, so that guy's... that goat man's name is Rimmer. And he is the Great Black. The Great Darkness. They're the way back home. I hope it's not too late. That is why you need to go in the winter time and go to the Mountain Coach Room. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Here. It's a remote control for the clock. Nice! But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you are too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. Please, call me Cogwind. Alright, Mr. Cogwind, I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Bye bye Let's go to fall. Wonder if he'll let me in. Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? Oh, I don't have a ticket. How can I get one? What? Why don't you have yours? Oh, I'm not a citizen, sir. Maybe that's why. Not a citizen. That's new. Too new for me, though. Sorry, little lady. I can't let you in. Hmm. But what can I do then? I don't know. This never happened before. Hmm, I guess I'll have to find my own way to get inside. Thank you, bye. Goodbye. Alright, I'm gonna end this episode here. We've explored the land a little bit. This is gonna be interesting. So we've got the clock that can change seasons on a whim. In the next episode, I'm gonna figure out what the hell to do with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do what you guys do best, and I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>